what's up? It's William from Rocket Zero and welcome to another Pixel Art Tutorial. In this video, we're going to be building a floppy disk, kind of throwing it back, a little bit of retro-ness going on. Now, for this floppy disk that I got from CandyPatterns.com, description down below, we're going to be using some black, whatever color you want to use. I'm going to use light blue wool because I remember way back then, we might have used light blue floppy disk. I don't remember. I was really young when we would use them. But whatever, I'm going to be using light blue, then some gray wool, white wool, but you can use whatever color you want for your floppy disk. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that we at least have 18 black wools going straight up. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Now, after we have 18 black wools, we're going to do 15 on the bottom and then 16 on the top. So let's go do the 15 on the bottom going towards the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15. So we have 18 on the left, 15 on the bottom, and now we're going to do 16 on the top. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. So once again, we have 18 on the left, 15 on the bottom, 16 on the top, and then we're going to have 16 going down on the right. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. And then we need to put one black wool right here. So let's grab our light blue or whatever color and then a black wool on the right. And this is going to be the exterior outline of our floppy disk. Now, this would be a pretty good stopping point. Just remember that it's 18 on the left, 16 on the top, 15 on the bottom, and then 16 on the right. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to have two big rows of whatever color you guys pick. Like that. Pretty easy. And then we're also going to do the same thing on the other side. So two big rows of whatever color you guys want to have your fluffy disk. Then we're going to grab our black wool after we do all of that. And we're going to go down by nine black wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine and then we're gonna go down by nine on the other side so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we're gonna connect them by placing ten black holes in the middle now on the bottom here what we're gonna do is that we're gonna grab our light blue again and we're gonna do another row straight up. If you want to count it, that's going to be seven blocks, but you really don't have to. What we're going to do next is that we're going to grab our black and we're going to go up by five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we're going to grab our light blue and we're going to go do another row right here. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, just like that. Then we're going to add two rows of four gray wools. And then we can just start filling this in with some black wool. It's going to be like the thing that touches the computer to like transfer the data. I'm not sure how to, what's the actual name of it. It's not like an idiot saying that's where it touches the computer, but that's the part that you insert. The bottom part. And then here, it was really kind of cool so that you could write on it because it was so big. You can actually like write what it had on it. So we're just going to fill this in with some white wool. And if you want, you can even like just add a couple black wools for like, I don't know, maybe like a letter. We might do that at the end of the video. Let's see. We're just going to have to fill it in for a couple seconds. Rose. And there you go. 
we have finished building our floppy disk, so you could just write whatever letter you want. So let's try to make an R. Just my last name is Riley, so here we go. Let's just first a couple of them. You could do whatever letter you want. Just freestyle in this. I don't know if it's gonna turn out alright or not, but who knows? I don't think that's gonna be very good. That was supposed to be an R, but whatever. Well, we're gonna turn it into a P because I can do a P. <laughs> there you go. That's Peter's floppy disk. I don't know. But whatever, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, so you can stay up to date with all our newest videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Tell your friends about us, and we'll see you next time.